Hey Pix, what's going on? Valley here. Been a while since I've uh, posted up any kind of videos, but <clears throat> I want to talk to you about uh, having trouble getting your USB thumb drive to actually read on an older laptop. This is actually a 2010 model of HP DV6 3010 or 3010 US. It's an HP. I'll figure. Um, but anyways, that's not really important. What's important is actually getting USB drives to actually read when you go to boot into them. I've been sitting here all day trying to figure it out and I actually did stumble across something. Something that's quite crazy actually. I had too much of one component in my hardware. I actually had too much RAM in my system. And I'm going to show you that here in just a moment. Now it's not really an issue, but the DV6 3010 US, it's an HP Pavilion laptop. It actually only supports a maximum total of 8 gigabytes of, of memory. Although you can put in more if you actually have large enough modules, like this one. Get this to focus, focus, there we go. This is an 8 gigabyte stick. Uh, PC3L 12800 bought two of these that were perfectly fine it's just don't try to boot into a USB drive with both of them occupying both memory slots which I will show you here now because on this particular model of laptop you actually have quite easy access to your memory modules here and your hard drive which is right here pull up on this tab right next to the battery to actually pull that out which I have recently upgraded my SSD funny thing about that is too much memory won't allow it to boot either it won't allow you to actually boot into the installation software on an SSD <laughs> to actually get it to boot so if you've been racking your brain trying to figure out how to get your USB thumb drives to actually work because I thought it was just the different models of the drives themselves. Now let me explain something to you here. I have a 32 gig, a 16 gig, and a 64 gig, which is up on my desktop over there. That's what I'm recording this one, not on my laptop. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so I thought it was the drives at first. All right, so I kept switching them out, switching them out, switching them out nothing then I, I kept scratching my head trying to figure it out and then I realized I installed the OS before I upgraded the RAM so I decided to try and take out one of the sticks lo and behold it actually booted up it actually allowed me to actually boot into the OS which I'll show you that now because it's, it's just being such a pain in the <clears throat> I'll keep it censored. I need this one. This out. This in here. Ah, got it. Okay. Oh. And it boots. Yeah. Pull my cam over here so you guys can actually see what I'm seeing. Uh, I apologize for the poor cameraman incident. Um,
Oh boy. I'm not editing anything out of this. By the way, it says no IRQ handler. That's normal. And no, I will not be showing you my password on here either. Okay, power off, power back on. Anyways, um, I'm actually having to go back into it and actually get it back into the root user. Because whenever I installed it, it pretty much did not allow me to become a root user. So I'm going to have to reinstall. Fun. doing the potato webcam instance of recording but I don't really care because I'm not really worried about it that's cute Waiting, 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 loading, loading, loading. And it kind of installer. There we go. Okay. Continue. Oh boy. Come on. Can you please continue? <laughs> oh, come on. has to curb the pretzels. Oh boy. Ugh. Anyways, um, I'm going to actually stop this video here because I don't want it to be sitting here with me trying to fight with this. So I will see you guys later and stay frosty peeps. Hopefully this will actually help you out on your own build. See you in the next one if I ever get one loaded up.